In this program, we're going to learn about air. What is air? Air is the mixture of invisible, odorless, and tasteless gases that make up the Earth's atmosphere. Weather systems, like storm clouds, move through the air. The carbon monoxide emitted from gas-powered vehicles and the exhaust from factories contribute to pollution in the air. The blue color seen in the sky is an effect created when sunlight shines through the gases in the atmosphere. The atmosphere is a veil of gases that envelops the entire planet. Earth's atmosphere is the reason why the planet is able to sustain all life on it. The atmosphere and the air are the elements that make the planet's natural environment possible. Think of it as a protective shell that holds all nature together. The atmosphere and the mixture of gases filling it are very important to all life on Earth. People breathe air to get oxygen. Plants need the gases in the air to grow and produce more oxygen through photosynthesis. Earth's atmosphere is a combination of gases which include nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and carbon dioxide. A substantial amount of water vapor is an essential element in our air. It is the presence of water vapor that produces clouds and precipitation. All of the gases that make up the atmosphere are held to the planet by gravity. Earth's gravitational pull anchors all matter to the planet's surface. Gravity is what keeps the air in the atmosphere within the confines of the planet. Because gravity is strongest closest to the surface of the planet, that is where the atmosphere is thickest and most concentrated. The gravitational pull becomes weaker the greater the distance from the surface of the planet. This is why it is harder for people to breathe at higher altitudes, because oxygen becomes less dense the higher the elevation. The atmosphere has four layers. They are the thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, and the troposphere. The troposphere is the layer closest to the surface of the planet. We live in the troposphere. Above the troposphere is the stratosphere. Airplanes fly in the stratosphere. After the stratosphere is the mesosphere. The mesosphere is so cold that clouds freeze within its boundaries. Beyond the mesosphere is the thermosphere. The thermosphere is where gases thin and start to break down because the pull of gravity is too weak to hold them. Finally, there is the exosphere. The exosphere is the edge of the Earth's atmosphere. Here, molecules break away and escape into outer space. Now that you have a better understanding of air, think about this. Why is there no air in space? Think about it. 